Here's eight things that might make you stop moving to Sonoma coming up right now. Hey, I do a great tip for you on buying or selling your house at the end of every video. So hang tight, it'll be at the very end. Hey, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I put out a new video every single Friday and you wanna get that video, especially if you're moving here to the city of Sonoma. I've put out, gosh, I've made maybe 15 videos now on the city of Sonoma going through all the neighborhoods. So push that subscribe button and you'll get the videos that come out every single Friday. Item number eight is the cost of living. Of course, everything else is beautiful and awesome, which I, I always say on my videos, lovely weather, lovely people, the culture, but whoo -wee, it is expensive to live here. So if you've been living in San Francisco or any big city, you're probably used to that. But if you're coming from a lot of other places, you really need to sit down and look at cost of living indexes on the internet and really, really look at what that new raise and that new job is gonna buy you here in Sonoma because it's pretty pricey. Item number seven is commuting. We are on the southern most eastern end here in Sonoma of the county. It takes an hour to get to the Golden Gate Bridge. From the Golden Gate Bridge to downtown San Francisco uh, is another half hour. Same thing with Oakland. So just to get to the off ramps over in Oakland or in the Bay Area, in the East Bay Area can be an hour. And then, you know, it's city driving, right? So it might take you another 20, 25 minutes to park and, and walk and get to your destination. So really think twice about commuting. Now, if you only have to go to the cities three times a month because your life has changed because of COVID, then that's a whole different story. But if you have to go there quite a bit or even fly out of San Francisco, uh, just think about that commute because it's a long one and traffic is back. So just consider the commute before you move to Sonoma. Item number six, there are no box stores in Sonoma. So if you're addicted to the Targets and the Walmarts and the Costcos and you need a big box store once in a while, they're 20 minutes away in Petaluma or another 20 minutes north of that, 15 minutes uh, into Rohnert Park in Santa Rosa. So we have one big store here, which is Freeman Brothers, which is major competition for Home Depot. <laughs> far superior in my opinion. It's the local DIY store. But other than that, it's small town shopping here. So uh, if you need all those big convenience stores around, Sonoma's just not gonna work. Item number five. All right, so it's super quiet here. I mean, it's extra super quiet and it's super lovely because of it. And so if you're used to the hustle bustle, say you're in your 20s or something, 30s, and you like to go out on Friday night, and you don't mind the hustle bustle of cities, you're really not gonna find that here in Sonoma. It kind of shuts down after dinner. The tourists might be out, you know, 10 o'clock at night, but it's a quiet, sleepy agricultural community. And uh, so there's a lot going on. I mean, I love that I get the country and kind of the hip, touristy world here in Sonoma, but majorly happening environment, no. I've lived in Los Angeles and I've been around San Francisco a lot. Uh, don't even compare the two. So make sure you think about it. If you really gotta bust out and do those kinds of things, you're not gonna find that here. It's a quiet, quiet lifestyle in Sonoma. All right, number four is the young versus the retiring. All right, now I don't know where you draw that line because I know I'm still young, right? <laughs> but for anybody considering moving to Sonoma who still likes that big city, single person, wild and crazy lifestyle, it's not gonna be here, which I think I'm pretty much driving that point through, right? It's a sleepy, um, it's, it's a, it's a happening town. There's a lot going on. It's the middle of the wine country and there's plenty of business and a lot going on here and you're close to everything, but it's retirees. It's a lot of retirees. So if you're a retiree, you're going to love it. There's a great golf course here. There's five or seven other golf courses within a half an hour from here. And it is a perfect retirement area. The weather, the healthcare, the environment, the social, everything is very much geared to retirement. Uh, and, and I would say people over, the average age is over 51. So, uh, and there's lots of families. There's like 12 elementary schools. So there's tons of families in Sonoma, don't get me wrong. But just consider, it's kind of retirement-y 
and an older age group. So if you're in your 20s and you're single um, or you're a young couple and you're looking for the wild and crazy times of the city, you're not going to find it here in Sonoma at all. It's a little bit slower. So think twice about that because we want you to be happy when you move in. Item number three, if you need a brewery, there are two of them, Old Sonoma Public House and Sonoma Springs Brewery. Here in Sonoma, yes, in the middle of wine country, there are two great breweries. There are about 28 breweries in the county, and so you can drive around and drink beer all over the whole county, from one end to the other and from one side to the other. And there are two here in Sonoma. But if you need more than that, you're gonna have to venture out, so. Like I said, if you're looking for like the young, hip, go to a brewery every Friday night kind of scene, not here in Sonoma. We have two small breweries, they're fantastic, but there's two, all right? All right, item number two, golf course. There's one golf course. Do you need three or four golf courses where you live? Well, they're not too far away. So there's one here, only one golf course. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's immaculate, it's lovely, the Sonoma Valley Golf Course, all right? There is Oakmont, half an hour, well not even half an hour, 20 minutes north in the valley, and then you have to venture over to Petaluma and into Runner Park and Santa Rosa for the other five or six golf courses. So golfing can be a half an hour away or here in Sonoma at the Sonoma Valley Golf Course. There's only one, only one golf course in Sonoma. Item number one. So I think this is important. Don't move to Sonoma if you're expecting that wild and crazy city lifestyle. I think I already covered this in the other seven items, but consider it because it's a sleepy agriculture town. You're gonna smell and hear and experience agriculture here on every level. So you'll smell, smell the wine fermenting, you'll smell cows occasionally not as much as in other cities in the county <laughs> but you're you know you're in agriculture you're not going to smell the city smells which are far far worse but just make sure you're really adjusted and like you really really know and you're really sure you want the quiet lifestyle of sonoma don't move here if you're a city slicker and you're going to go crazy when you're sitting at bed at night listening to a great horn owl go hoo 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 or you're sitting in your bed at night and it's like perfectly quiet and you can see the moon and the stars out your bedroom window. That's such a drag. Anyway, so just consider, think about it. Item number one, don't move to Sonoma if you're really, really, really like a city slicker and you're just not used to the quiet and the calm and the country living that we have here. Hey home buyer, are you looking into buying a house and learning all kinds of new things? I bet you've heard of FHA loans on the news or maybe from your lender. It, they gave it a cute little nickname too, it's called the Fannie Mae loan. Well historically and typically people save for years to get 20% put down on a house, but you really don't need to do that. You can do an FHA loan. Fannie Mae loan. You only have to put 3.5% down. So 3.5% of a $800,000 house or a $600,000 house. Let's do the $600,000 house. Uh, is about 18 grand, 20 grand, okay? Tack on another nine grand, 10 grand for closing costs because it costs you money to buy a house for about $30,000, give or take, depending on what you're doing, you can buy a house. All right, now you can save 120, you can save 90,000. The more money you put down on the house, the lower your mortgage payments may be, depending on how you're organizing that with your lender, all right? But just think about the Fannie Mae loan. Make sure you go out and ask your lender, hey, I just heard about the Fannie Mae loan. Can you tell me more about it? And your lender will share with you every detail uh, of that Fannie Mae loan and help you get into a nice new house. If you're considering moving to Sonoma and you need some help, I have a great team of people ready to help you land here. We get calls and texts and emails from people like you every single day wanting to know everything about Sonoma and what it's like to live here. So go down below this video and look for the show more section and give us a call. And we don't care if you're not moving for six months to a year, we understand the process and we'd love to share as much as we can with you so you can find the perfect city and the perfect neighborhood and your dream home to live in here in Sonoma. And the next video is gonna come up right there.